the mobile device. And to make it sexy, what we did is we integrated this to the iPhone. Okay? Now, obviously, the iPhone is not going to make us bucks. <coughs> Most people are carrying Blackberries around. How many people have Blackberries? I just seems to be spreading like wildfire now. I mean, apparently, I think 60% of the US market. Imagine that. Well, I mean, the Bahama advertising for them. So, we want to be show you what this thing all works now. If you've got an iPhone and this graphs, and we're going to be going onto other platforms as we go, but we did this because we thought it was the coolest that it would get you thinking. Okay? So, and we've written the app for the iPhone, and I need to make this clear. Most phones these days can browse the internet. So, obviously, you could go onto my business and do your stuff. But when I bought the iPhone, I realized these are not data entry devices. These are things that bring up graphs and show you information. I can't see a bookkeeper catching the cash game, okay? So that's the way we've done this. So we thought, let's do one of the most obvious thing first. So you're going to see a customer, okay? So we open the app, and notice we're not browsing now. We have rendered this thing properly for the iPhone, because Anybody can browse, but then you've got scroll bars everywhere and it's a cock up. You all know that. Okay. So we log in. Now, by the way, this emulator, we're doing so you can all see it. But if you want to come to me afterwards, I'll show you on my half. What works here works. This is not a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. This emulator, if it works on this, it works on the half. So you go in and you see a list of all your customers. So imagine you're driving along there, we're going to see which one you want to see, Debs. Morning View Bicycles. Go back. You can see who you're visiting, what their telephone number is, how much they are. Okay? Now you go in to the customer, their balance, their sales graph, their email address, their telephone number, all this kind of stuff. Delivery address, etc. If I now rotate the phone, and this way you must all buy our phone. <laughs> That graph, it knows its orientation. So then you see their graph for the last year. So imagine now sitting down with a customer. Well, what happened in uh, July or August? Okay, and now, also a very cool thing. Uh, where is my phone? Here it is. Okay, unfortunately, the emulator doesn't do this. But I will keep this for lost. I guess I click on my business. And by the way, you can have different companies here and log into whichever one you want. Now have a look at it. So we drive in a lot. Okay, sorry guys. But I'm with, let's say, Ashy, and I say, Ash, we can't find this customer, man. We're five minutes late for the meeting. I click on the address. It opens up Google Earth and it puts a pin. Now there it is, it drops a pin on the map. And then you can say, give me directions. And then it's going to actually give you directions. Okay? So how cool is that? <laughs> so you can see it's like a world of possibilities. The next thing I'm going to force the programmers to do is to see your sales geographically. Now, normally, for us old fogies, if you wanted to have a geograph, you would say the list of sales, Rustenburg, now we're going to render the stuff on Google Maps so you'll actually see numbers. You can see how there was a lot of action in Cape Town. There's a lot of, because obviously it picks up the GPS coordinate on the customer, knows where it is on Google Earth, and you'll actually see your sales that way. Okay, now all of that stuff becomes possible. And then it becomes a lot of fun as well. And I think for me personally and our developers, I've never been so excited about something that's going to make me so little money. <laughs>